does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again for another episode of Skip the Rules, and today I'm helping you skip the rules for I Spy Eagle Eye from Briar Patch. This is for two to four players. Age is five plus. Take about 10 to 15 minutes to play. Also, if your box looks different, don't worry. They all play the same. So inside I Spy Eagle Eye, I got to tell you, there are three different ways to play the game, and I'm going to teach you all three of the different ways. Now, the first way I'm going to teach you is the two-player version of the game, but honestly, I've played it with three and four players. It's just fine. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is decide how many points you are going to go to in this game mode they recommend six but if you're playing with three or four players i would recommend going to three or four next what you're going to do is make sure that every single person has one game board they are double-sided pick whichever side you like and once everyone has one of the game boards in front of them everyone can reach the timer everyone is going to draw one card so now everyone should have one card in front of them and one board in front of them. Everyone is going to flip over their card at the same time and now it's going to be a fast frantic game of trying to find the one image on this card right here that is going to match your board. Because as I mentioned, there are a grand total of four boards. They are all double-sided and there are eight pictures on this card, which means there will be exactly one thing from this card that is on this board and one thing from this card that is on this board and this board. And you get what I'm saying here. If you are the first person to ring the bell and identify which match goes from here to over here, then you will score the card, aka one point. Everyone else is then going to return their card to the pile, put it on the bottom, and you are going to rinse, wash, and repeat until someone has scored the number of points, aka cards, that you agreed to at the very beginning of the game. If someone ever rings in by mistake, there's no penalty in this game mode, just keep on playing, but don't let it happen too routinely. The next game mode is the one they recommend for three or four players, and it's going to play incredibly similar. You're going to have one board. Everyone is going to draw one card. Everyone is going to flip it over at the same time, and everyone is going to be searching to find the matching image. However, if you were the first person to do it, then you will not actually get to keep the card, but you will score points, and you will score the number of points uh, of players there are in the game. So if you're playing a four-player game and you're the first person to ring the bell and find your match, you will score four points. If you're the second person to do it, you will score three points. The third person will score two points. Then the last person, if they're able to do it, will score one point. And then you go to an agreed-upon number of points. They recommend 50. I think that's a bit high, but that's up to you. Keep track of your score with a paper and pencil. Now, last but not least, we have the third game mode, which is actually a tournament version of the game, and every player is going to have one board. Now, even if you are playing with, say, three players, you will still make sure that all four of the boards are on the table like so. Now, what's going to happen is you are going to draw one card, set it in the middle, and you're going to agree on one picture on this card that you are looking for. So, let's just say the giraffe. So, at this point, every single person is going to be fast and frantic, looking at both both sides of their board. Yes, I said both sides trying to find this image. If you ever at any point do not believe that that image is on your board, then you ring the bell and then you immediately pass your board to the player on the left like so. So right now this is how it would work in a four player game. But here's the catch. You can only ring the bell one time. Now, if you're playing with less than four players, you still have all four on the board like so, but at any point, if you don't think it's on here, you can swap it out. So let's say you're playing a three-player game with this person, this person, and this person, and I don't think it's on my board here, that, uh, that ball, because or the draft that we're looking for, then I could swap it out with the orange and just put that over here, and then anyone can swap it out with my purple at any point if they want as well. The first person to find it rings the bell three times. And then they are going to win the round. And the first person to win three rounds, which is what they recommend, but once again decide at the beginning, is going to be the winner of the tournament. And those are the three different ways in which you're going to play I Spy Eagle Eye. If this helped you, please give it a like. And let me know in the comments below where I helped you out at. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.